Hey Pisces and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa. These messages won't resonate with everybody, so um, just take what fits and leave what don't, as always. Alright, let's get what your recent past was for Pisces in love. Spirit and Angels, what is Pisces energy? In their recent past affecting their current situation. Way too many. Half the deck keeps coming out. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Recent past in love. It's affecting their current situation. There we go. Okay, so you have... The Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords, with the King of Swords. I tell you, the first, I did this once already, and uh, I had to redo it. Oh my goodness. And there was so many court cards in your reading. It was crazy. Okay, your current energy is the Queen of Swords. Hidden um, influences that may bring um it may bring consequences to your situation is the ten of swords your current energy pisces in all of this is the nine of cups in reverse in the outside influences that are affecting this situation what is pisces the Eight of Pentacles. Spirit's advice for you this week is the Nine of Wands. And your potential outcome for this week, Pisces in Love. Wow. There's the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Bottom of the deck and <clears throat> the Six of Swords. Clarified with the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Next card under the deck is the Two of Cups. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what? I don't want to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. I'm going to do the... Where did I go? Um... Oh, it's here somewhere. Oh, there it is. We're going to do the crystal visions as our clarifier um, for this week's uh, spread. So I'll just shuffle a second while I'm talking here. So in the energy of the past, you have the Eight of Swords. Um, with the Eight of Swords, it's it's like you're bound, bound by the... Um, bound by the choices of somebody else. Um, you're unable to free yourself from this crisis almost. With the Four of Swords, it's talking about taking a step back, um, a spiritual retreat, uh, you know, finding yourself in solitude so you can rebuild and repose yourself and rejuvenate and heal, seeing things from a different perspective um, will help get you out of that self-imposed um, bondage that you have put yourself in. Uh, you also have the King of Swords. So this could be um, somebody of the law or the or authority um, over whatever over whatever you choose. So Pisces, you could be dealing with. <laughs> You could have done something that's going to land your butt in jail. Because this is the jail card for me as well. This is the law. Um, and you're going to have time to sit and think about what you did. But that's not for everybody, of course. So you could just be dealing with somebody who is very authoritative. Somebody who um, has to be in control of everything. And that could be you. But um, either way, you're letting yourself get stuck in this, this mental uh, turmoil overthinking somebody of your past in your current energy you do have the queen of swords so 
this is um, a person of great strength and independence and able to uh, forge her own way in the world. And it's clarified with the Seven of Wands. So most definitely this is fighting your way through the adversity. Um, this The Seven of Wands is all about validating one's um, principles under attack of adversity. So the courage to uphold the principles and and uh, do what's right gives you the leg up. I do feel that um, you're coming out of this transformation um, and making some big changes. Um, the Empress and the Ace of Wands. Wow. So your outside um, influences that could cause problems that that you don't realize is the Ten of Swords. So this is, you know, sudden misfortune, ruin, pain, um, because you thought you were getting a new beginning with somebody and um, they possibly could have, uh, they're possibly not going to give you that chance or you're not giving them that chance. But I do feel this is an outside, This the position is the outside, um, the unforeseen troubles in the future so um you could find out that you are a third party um, making you feel very betrayed you could feel that your partner had a third party um but either way um this is you know that sudden misfortune and and being denied that that new beginning that you were truly hoping for in your energy and all this, you have the Nine of Cups. So this is misinterpretation of a relationship. Um, and it's going to lead to costly mistakes. And it's clarified with the hangman. So that is you, Pisces. You're going to um, you're going to need to take a step back to heal from this. You could have thought this was something that it wasn't. And it ended up just being a fling for that other person. And, you know, the, the Ace of Wands... A lot of times is, you know, the quick, the match stick, right? But it, it fizzles out as soon as, as quick as it started. So you could have thought that this person was your person that, um, you know, that, that they were meant for you. They, the two of you are going to move forward and um, you're finding out that that's not the case. So that misunderstanding of a relationship leads to some costly mistakes some of you, it could land you in jail, not all of you, but um, there's a lot of secrets here that you didn't know about Pisces that you are going to find out about, and it's going to create that need for you to to be in a pause, to, um, to really heal from that, that emotional pain that, and the betrayal that you had felt um, by this person, you know, denying that, uh, that relationship to you. In the outside influences, you could be dealing with a Virgo or um, or this is just, let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here as your outside influences. This could be somebody that you guys work together with, the Emperor. Yeah, so this is somebody who's very controlling, somebody who has to have it their way. This could have been your boss. You could have worked for this person. Um, you could have felt this person was your divine partner. Um, but this person, uh, it's like they have to have things their way. Why is the emperor here? Let's get one more on that. Why is the emperor here? That's way too many. Why is the emperor here? Clarifying the eight of cups or eight of pentacles. The two of cups. Yeah, you truly thought this person was um, who you were meant to be with. Um, but you could find out that, that this person isn't wanting um, to move forward um, with this connection. Um, they could be telling you that they have feelings for somebody else or that they're married. Why is the nine of wands here for the elk or the advice? Okay, so your advice is uh, strength and readiness to meet opportunities boldly head on. Um, this is victory after a struggle. I do feel that this person 
that this has already happened. And this is, this is sending you into a, an awakening of sorts um, because it, you're going to need to rest. It's like there is something bigger coming that you need to fight. There's, there's a bigger battle that needs to be won. And you need to take the time to rest. That's twice now that you have it. Um, you need to uh, take, a, take a look around and see, you know, take a different perspective. See uh, that your actions have consequences is what I'm hearing. And, um, and you, you are going to need to face the new day with strength and vitality and um, just, yeah, you're going to have to face You're going to have to face something head on, but you are going, this is like sending you into this transformation. You need to rest. You need to be something bigger is coming. I could just keep hearing that something bigger and better is coming. So you need to release this. You need to heal. You need to take the time. Look at things from the whole perspective because you're not seeing something that's right in front of you, but you will because you're going to come out of that transformation. Um, as soon as you find that inner balance, that inner peace, uh, balancing or taming your own beast of doubt and fear, you're going to come out a different person. And you're that's twice now that you have this as well. You are going to remove yourself from this situation um, after you come out of this strong, strong awakening that you are going to go through um, this week uh, or come out of this week because you now know the truth. Spirit is saying this person is telling you who they are. Believe them. They're telling you the truth. It's time to heal, time to let this go, and time to move on because you have now the power of the divine um, truth in your hand, and you can really, um, it's a triumphant conquest. I mean, this is the, a great power of force, um, so it's time for you to move forward, to move on, um, releasing this uh connection and know that there's bigger better love out there right over that hill um some of you you need to heal um some inner wounds from childhood um but most definitely it's time to walk or you know walk away from this situation you had the queen of wands twice it's time to uh communicate the truth that you hold in your hand to move forward and um move on from the situation completely Take everything, um, you know, take all your baggage with you. We all have it after every kind of relationship. No matter what anyone says, baggage is brought with us. But it must be cleared and released because when you move forward, you're going to move towards a better offer. You're going to uh, release the, the heartbreak and betrayal that you thought was in the promise of this person. And instead, you just got, you just got sadness, um, you know emotional poverty, angry, guilt, uh, with a 10 of swords, it's just imprisonment, fear, shame. You're letting go of all that. When you move away from all of that, you, you are on a path of gain and achievement, wealth, prosperity in more than just money, but in in all gifts of the universe, but you have to move away from this relationship, um, Pisces, uh, because they're, they're not going to leave whatever situation they're in. And you're just going to get more angry and more sad and more heartbroken here. Um, if you think it's going to change, some of you could be threat. I'm hearing threatening words. Um, oops. Okay. That was still the same card. I'm hearing threatening words. Like you're trying to like threaten this person. That's never going to work to win anybody back, but they may be doing this to you. So be cautious of that. Um, the wheel is also here. So it is ever turning. It's, <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. The, the wheel of fortune is always turning. It's always changing. It's always up unfolding fate. Um, it's your choice right now, whether you're going to gain or whether you're going to lose, but um, if the only way you're going to lose is if you don't take that leap of faith in yourself and start down that journey, um, alone, single, um, healing those, those, uh, hurts that this person created. Um, 
Yeah, because, you know, the fool is all about carelessness, poor evaluations. If you don't, if, you know, if you don't set out on your own journey, this is only going to bring um, negative things for you because this, this connection um, needs to be moved forward from Pisces because you, you deserve so much more than what this person can give you because they are, they are um, in another connection. And for some, some people, and this could be vice versa, remember. So if you're the cross watcher or, you know, just flip it around. But for some of you, you're, that person is got a commitment and other people. So like they're doing this to numerous people. Unfortunately, I hate to say that, but but by you knowing this truth, this is going to lead you to a past life soulmate. Um, so this, there's no reason to hold on to this. This is just creating more anger, more sadness, more heartache. Um, and it's it can't go back. So it's time to move forward. Yeah, the Hierophant reverse. So this isn't going to turn into a commitment. But you do have the opportunity for a big relationship, for big love. Um, with somebody who uh, isn't juggling your energy um, because that is that is over that is complete it's time to move on from this lesson because when you do you have that big beautiful cup of love um, that's going to come in for you in this form of a uh, soulmate when you um, stand in your truth and move forward uh, filling your own cup and in turn uh, the birth of a new relationship will come in for you in the next uh in the next couple months after you release this this must be released this week i feel if it isn't i just see somebody like this is just like really really bad choices misinterpreting what this person wanted out of a relationship is going to give you a costly mistake if you're not careful so please pisces heed the warning um release this relationship because it's not moving towards a commitment but you do have um you do have beautiful things on the horizon you have all four aces here all four just not with this person who puts you in a third party situation um or has recently left due to um somebody else being in the picture so all right pisces i hope you have a good week um it may seem really negative, but truly, this is a positive reading because you have you're at the end of that cycle. You're you're so ready for all those new beginnings to um, start. So you just have to walk away from that that hurtful situation, heal from that, look at things from a different perspective because there's something you're missing that will help you move forward and move on from this person. All right, guys, I will see you next week. God bless.